Yeah. 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 Oh, hi. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Jay, and um, uh, welcome to our Next uh, Migrations. This video live today, and today I will be again talking with Victor. And today, especially, we will talk about the recent changes that the city government has made for this financial year. And basically, we have seen few changes, a few actually major changes this year and um, yeah I will talk to uh, you I will talk to Victor about this these changes for probably for next half an hour yep half an hour so Victor uh, I would like to welcome you to as well yep to the live today and can you please tell us what are the major changes that HCG go government had just uh, introduced uh, in Canberra. Magic. So first is to, today is the 7th of uh, July yesterday yeah. is 6th of July so yeah. the newest version Newest version for ACT guideline will be the sixth yep. uh, of July version. So that that that's the newest versions, and this is will be the versions apply for this financial year, the sixth of July version. I think one of the significant change or the the biggest change of this financial year is ACT government introduced uh, different programs which is never existing in ACT before. It's called Small Business Owner Program. Mm -hmm. So um, it's still it's still part of the metric system, but it's a, just a complete different stream. Uh, and also different requirements for the applicant. I think that's the the biggest uh, um, change, change. Uh, to this yeah. current guideline. Although there are some detailed changes regarding the qualifications and spouse, which we're going to talk about later. Mm. Okay. Um, so talking about the small business owners, um, have they set any any sort of criteria for which kind of business are mm. eligible mm. or not, mm. and what a, what actually they they want to refer saying a small business owner what should be the revenue and okay sort of okay uh, before before i get to the uh, detailed requirements and criteria about um how you can qualify for small business string yep. uh, i'd like to go for the what's the reason or what's ah, the okay. what's the what is the purpose of the government uh, you know add a different string into the metric system mm -hmm. i think if you if you look up at the uh, metrics invitation history for the last financial year particularly at the beginning of july seeing you know beginning of may last year we started to see uh, the government have more places to offer a lot of places to offer and then dropping the down of the metrics point particularly mm -hmm. for foreign airways so yeah. you know it for example go down as long to 50 55 so the point's getting pretty low and we see a lot of invitations for particular phone and one stream. So I think HD government starting to see we have a lot of places. Yeah. And it seems to land they don't have a lot of applicants, a lot lot of people, you know, competing uh, for phone and one particularly. And you know, particularly I think at the time, which is July or June, they already apply uh, uh, to increase nomination places to two thousand to the department. They should know it. They mm -hmm. know it, you know, before it's published uh, publicly announced. So they have the idea is like we have a lot of places to offer we're going to have more places to offer for this financial year and they see the points going down pretty low okay. so uh, they're starting to have the idea uh, maybe it's a mm -hmm. time uh, they can they can learn from the 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 the, the uh, migration system in Queensland which they have small business program mm -hmm. so they probably think they are thinking about they want to add the small business program mm -hmm. allocated not particular allocated specific number but to uh, uh, to share part of the location to the small and business program because the benefit of this program is it's target on business okay. operating and uh, you know setting up new business in Canberra mm -hmm. or purchasing existing mm -hmm. in business but it definitely bring, brings a lot of revenues to the mm -hmm. government so yeah, yeah. that's the whole purpose I have places more places to offer and I want to keep some for the business owners so that means uh, can we say it's a smart decision from ACT government to attract more I, I think so because you know if, if in general in general sense uh, when we talk about skill migration program or state nomination programs we target on skill migrants yeah so people go get their nomination uh, through their work through mm -hmm. their for qualification through the English they, they you know they, they, they earn the nomination by themselves which is good but in the yeah. meantime uh, they, they, they try to give some incentive or uh, encouragement to people have business mm -hmm. so you know it's I keep on mentioning this to, 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 to the audience that is, um, skilled migration team belong to ACT economy department, 
and it's all about economy, booming yeah. economy, and also attracting inner state. So, mm -hmm. if they want to inv issue invitation, let's say this is African one, which is accounting on IT students working in Canberra, that's good. You get mm -hmm. metrics point to the to the Im invitation point. I invite you. That's good. As you know, African two, somebody running a small business in Canberra, and he's going for small business string. He he the, he or she meet the basic requirements. That's also good because you have a business. So mm -hmm. either way looks looks good. To the to the program, so I think it's very smart, uh, particularly when you're considering ACD have two thousand places to offer. And um, uh, has the ACD government allocated any? Just want to repeat no, it not, not, for the clarification. Not not really. They they, they yeah. didn't set any targets for you know business program saying I I will look at two two hundred three hundred places mm -hmm. specific for that. But I think the general attitude until this moment uh, they quite encourage this program. Mm -hmm. So I uh, and uh, even for example, a lot of people are asking about is there any minimum points for invitations yeah. uh, for there was two string four nine one and one ninety will they invite. Uh, you know, let's say people, uh, any people above 65 or 491 will be invited. There was no guarantee, but 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 you know, based on the common sense and uh, if you're comparing particularly the small business string to the uh, uh, employee sponsor string, which is once you hit the 65, you generally I mm -hmm. see most of people. I see actually I see all the applicants over 65 get invited. I think this one will be pretty much a send, considering you don't expecting a lot of people to invest business uh, in Canberra. So in the future, Canberra will be critical metrics. Mm -hmm. Which is critical skill, man. Employee sponsorship metrics, mm -hmm. which is four A five uh, and four A two visa holders, and then small business string. So we have three strings, but each invitations, each invitation round they issue separately. But you're probably going to see it within two, one or two hours, and this one get invited first, and mm -hmm. this one, and this one. Yeah. Okay, so the thing is, um, what confuses uh, most of us actually competition. Is like, yeah, they have two thousand places to offer, mm. and. Uh, they're still getting 190 and 491 yeah. under the same Canberra metric system. Yeah. Do small business owners have to compete with all other candidates no, no, or they no. will be you, treated separately? You will be treated separately. You're only competing with the small business owners. So that poor one, it's a string one, yeah. string two, string three, string three only competed with oh, string three. Okay. So only in, in their own In their category. own pool. In their own pool. Oh, okay. Only. It's a same for the string two which is Four seven, uh, four eight seven visa only competing with itself. The string one, you have to competing with the um, you know majority of the applicants. So each string, mm -hmm. the applicants only competing with the uh, you know candidates within the same string, not the other string. But there will be points for indication. For example, the first string is very important. The first string, which is the camera um, you know critical skill string, let give you indications how low yeah. they're willing to uh, uh, inviting people. Yeah. Sometimes go lower down to you know the cutting off point. Any occupation sixty, mm -hmm. that means any occupation above sixty generally get invited. Um, or the minimum points they can go down is for sixty for certain occupation. The last financial year we see uh, IT often you know stay in sixty. If that's the case, this sixty points it's an indication for string two, mm -hmm. and string two to certain extent. Oh, okay. So, but the, the first string is very competitive. You know, simply put, if you go for string two, which is sponsorship string, and a small business string, that's much, much, much less competition for sure. Yeah, yeah of course. So there will be basically, basically, three sort of matrix competition. Yeah, basically. yeah. But in, in terms of allocation for string one, string two, and string three, and they don't have a set idea yet because they have a lot of places and mm. they do it on weekly basis. So they have a lot of spaces to adjust that. Uh, so okay. if this week this is giving too much and next week a little bit less here, more here, something like that. Yeah. And can I add one more question in this small business mm. owner category? Do they need to have a skill assessment? Yes, it's still a skill migration program. So you need to have a skill assessment. Any skill assessment is fine. Any skill assessment is fine. So it's not limited to critical skills. So that doesn't mean? It, it means any people can apply as long as you have a skill assessment. Oh, okay, so let's say, for example, um, mechanical engineering. That's fine, you can apply. Oh, if, you, okay. if you're running a small business, okay? okay. Uh, English requirements still apply, so okay. mechanical engineers still need to have seven each. Mm -hmm. um, that's just the basic requirement of the criteria, of okay. the metrics criteria. But on top of that, you need to have a business. What's the business requirement? That is, I will simply you know, explain in, in, in some uh, 
uh, uh, criteria, which are key key requirements for the business. First of all, you need to be the majority owner of the business. Majority means over 51 percent. So you don't have to own the shop 100 percent. You can own as long as it's over 51 percent owners of the shop. 51 percent. Second, the turnover of the business is uh, 200 thousand dollars per year. 200 thousand dollars per year okay. for the business, or you know. A prorata, which means uh, if it's six months, that will be one hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Okay. Second requirement. The third requirement is um, um, you need to be you need to get paid. So you need you still need to take some money. We call income. You need to get some income from the business. That is uh, twenty six thousand dollars for six months. Okay. Thirteen thousand dollars for three months. Um, the difference is if you want to f- apply for one ninety. Mm-hmm. You had to get at least twenty six thousand dollars, twenty six thousand dollars from the business. Uh, in terms of how you get paid, it could be bonus, it could be salary. Mm-hmm. The purpose of doing so is the government want to see you actually, you know, absorbing some revenues mm-hmm. from the business rather than keep your uh, own labor costs to to make the company profit. They want to see the company is profitable. Mm-hmm. So you know, you had to get paid from the company for twenty six thousand dollars at least. And uh, for four hour it's thirteen thousand oh, dollars. Okay. So that's the second, uh, third requirement. And the fourth requirement is you still need to uh, uh, employ uh, Australian citizen, permanent or uh, sit New Zealand citizen for thirteen months, uh, thirteen weeks of time, thirteen weeks of about three months of time, mm-hmm. and the uh, employee can work uh, for twenty hours per week. So you need to employ somebody for a certain period of time. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, um, that's pretty much the requirement. So. Permanent residency, permanent resident people. That's fine. That's okay. fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. They, they, they actually do not necessarily need the citizen. No, no, it can okay. be PR. Yeah. So that means twenty six thousand for six months. For six months. Oh, okay. That's for you. For for somebody who wants yeah. to apply for the business. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that and they can up, if they have the skill assessment and they earn twenty six thousand uh, for six months. And then the, the together they the can apply for camera matrix even if their occupation is not in critical list. That's fine, but another thing is the critical thing is you need to be majority on a, of a qualified oh, business. Okay. That's a requirement. Uh, you need to have a business. Okay, bear in mind you need to have a business majority yeah. owner. The business turnover need to be over two hundred thousand dollars per year or mm-hmm. per rata. If you go for four nine one, the requirement is the basic requirement is you can apply after after two bars bus statement. So. Um, uh, the perfect situation it's about six months time yeah, so okay. um, uh, either for now or one night you need to show two bar statement two complete bar statement mm-hmm. uh, to be able to apply for the metrics mm-hmm. but you need to have a business that that's that's a bottom line oh, okay so so let's go to another change mm. what I have noticed or what we all have noticed is like um, they have ch- ch- made some changes in spells uh, point yep uh, that w- what is uh, on if 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 a spouse uh, qualification is from overseas, yep, they will not give you high points anymore. They will not give you the points for the uh, spouse qualification. From you, if they're which, from overseas, yeah, which used to uh, worth five points. Um, the the purpose for doing so is it's just very difficult to be verified. That's what the government thinking. Sometimes they get different qualification, particular diploma ones from overseas and from different countries. It's impossible for them to verify verify uh, uh, equivalent no oh. no they can't do it so they they, they they rather trust the Australian institution rather than overseas qualifications or maybe they they want somebody who has already invested maybe in maybe maybe that's another concern but that yeah it's just this is how it is yeah. oh, okay and particularly with this point do you think it is beneficial to the single applicants uh, um, you know, as many couples will not be eligible to claim that point if their spouse are not working at the moment. So true. Well, yeah, well yeah. it's not about single. Uh, you know, it, Canberra already give a lot of points to um, you know a lot of spaces for people having spouse. The spouse points can go for zero points or fifteen points, mm-hmm. and then English points you have another five points uh, in that part. All overall. A, a, you know, perfect spouse. We talk about. We're going to contribute twenty points to a single. So still, the policy still uh, show the preference of somebody having a spouse, or you know, giving preference to the people having the spouse. The only purpose of doing so, as I'm saying, they're doing thing. That's something I I I mentioned a couple of times, many times. They they do reasonable things. They're doing things based on you know. You have to understand they got a job to do. Okay. <laughs> they have to assess you know one thousand four hundred cases last year, and this year going to two thousand. 
they had approved 2,000 cases, and if that's the case, they probably had assessing 3,000 to 4,000 cases every year. Mm-hmm. They don't want to, you know, dig into if the, 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 this particular certificate from a, a country far, far away from Australia is true or not. Mm-hmm. They rather not to do it. Yeah, they're actually trying to simplify their. Yeah, they they work. They got they got work to do. Yeah. And um, I have noticed one another, uh, one, one, one point, a commitment to Canberra statement is not now required. What yeah. does it mean? Um, it's still the same. You need to commit to Canberra, okay? Um, <laughs> um, either 491 or 19 to commit to Canberra. Uh, because if you remember, uh, within the documents you applied to the government, there's another document called uh, uh, a declaration. So yep. declaration form actually including a lot of legal terms or you know, expressions about you should commit to Canberra after two years, this and that. And that's a more formal version of documents. So mm-hmm. it's kind of, there's a formal one here and people starting to write in stories and I think they just get tired of reading the same kind of yeah. you know expressions of commit to Canberra which is I like you know Lake Griffin and yeah. then <laughs> I like you know the parent house I like the traffic I like the weather which a lot of people actually don't like the weather mm-hmm. but they still say I like the weather so they just get tired of it okay and it's not not anything bonding it's not even legal documents and it's not a formal document as well so okay. cut it off you know just sign the, the declaration form. Yeah, they just don't want to but they, they, they just want to get rid of the yeah. unnecessary. Yeah, day. yeah. So, okay. So it looks like they have made a funny change in avian earning criteria. Yep. As we can see, 520 will be equivalent to 20 hours per week. I think it was 500 before. It's 500 before, now it's 520. And if you do an you know, easy calculation, 520 equals $26 and uh, multiply 20 hours. So 26 is the, is the, it's the um, a salary for skill level point. Mm-hmm. So they just want to make the sense. So it's going to be $520 for someone um, going for part time for 491. And for 190, uh, if you're working for full time, still $1,000. Mm-hmm. And people are probably going to ask well, how the calculation works. If you do a calculation based on $26, and multiply, you know, full time generates about thirty eight hours. It's very close to one thousand dollars still. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but for the part time one, it is it go it it went up to uh, four hundred uh, fifty uh, five hundred twenty. But it's based on twenty six dollars and multiply twenty hours. And another major change uh, that we can actually see normally. Yep. It, uh, we have noticed some changes in criteria for the interstate employers workers. Um, it's about locations or type of business be acceptable. Uh, previously, um, I think what they take off is just the home office one, and it's, they starting to accept like for, for example to be more detailed about what kind of office I'm accepting mm-hmm. um, um, or not accepting. And uh, you know, for example, they're looking for a service office. Service office is fine. Work at home is not fine. Something like that. It's about uh, you know, if your employer is not in Canberra, or um, you know, you have to work from from distance. They just want to see a more formal forms of business mm-hmm. uh, you're working for. Another another changes is it's about um, business. Uh, if you realize that in the previous version, um, if somebody get get employed by a company any kind of company and you want to claim for for example uh, the length of skill uh, points yep. that company need to be operated for 12 months yep. if you have the concept 12 yep. months now there was no requirement for that uh, okay, so, no, so, so new business can hire you mm-hmm. and you still can get uh, let's say employment any employment points from the new business that is f- just for the skill employment point or any employment? Length, length as well, skill level as well, any employment is fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can open up a business now? Yeah, except the, self, accept, accept the self uh, uh, employment, but the employee, yeah, if yeah, you are yeah. employed, yeah. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that does not apply to self-employed. the no. ABN? No, no. ABN self-employed. Uh, ABN is the same. Yeah. ABN is still 12 months. It's the same. Yeah. Uh, okay. So basically, that's that's the major questions uh, yep. I have collected for this. Um, I think the change, a lot, lot of places are actually not yes. not significant, not minor, no, so sorry, not major changes. Um, and uh, this is something, this is a version, um, we we, uh, we receive an um, email from ACD government on Friday yep. at, on the draft of this version, and mm-hmm. that version pretty much what they do normally do is they send the uh, version to major uh, agencies uh, uh, and then get them collect the opinions, and they publish the second uh, in the following day. So, you know, a lot of wordings has been changed, but mm-hmm. in general speaking, uh, the sixth of July version is a confirmed one. So, this version is going to stay at least for this year for sure. Majority this year. This year, 
um, the points, you don't see any change for the points, the points remain the same, the, the distribution of the mm -hmm. points remain the same. Mm -hmm. The only difference is just some minor changes. This is what we're looking at the camera metric system. In the future, it's going to be a little bit fixed. Uh, you know, you know, you know fixed and, and, and twisting a little bit fixing uh, um, to make it more uh, reasonable and um, make it you know apply to uh, most of situations but you don't see major changes now this is a system they're not going to say well next next financial year they're going to take this whole criteria off I don't see that happens um, so that's let give you another confidence or another indications Canberra metrics now is actually very stable at the third year one, two, three, yeah, every third year of the Canberra matches, Canberra matches become more and more mature. It's a grown yeah. man, and it will keep on going this for the year to come. That's yeah. what we're expecting for the Canberra matches system. But as for the small business stream, it's just a different stream. It actually doesn't affect the main applicants, the main stream of applicants. If people going for critical skill, don't worry about the place that's been taken by small business. Mm -hmm. You're not looking for major you know, group of people going to apply for small business. Mm -hmm. If saying 2000 places, you're not going to see 500 people go for small business. That's yeah, insane. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't see that happens. I'll probably see about 200 places, mm -hmm. you know, 300 places. That's a small share, very small share of the uh, allocation. And so don't worry about the points will be affected. And your points is nothing to be affected by the small business because you're competing with the applicants with the same string. Oh, okay, that's not, the major concern about. Yeah, you're not competing with the small business owners. Yeah. The only the only thing is like they government gonna give some places to more owners, mm -hmm. but that's based on they have a lot of places to offer, particularly for now one stream. Don't worry about it. We got one thousand four hundred places to go. Okay, and if you look at the invitation uh, since last uh, May, and you see the points is just like giving a lot of lot of invitation, try to attracting people yeah. to take. Uh, 491 uh, invitation. So this is going to be the same situation in the months to come. Mm -hmm. So um, for you know IT students, I was still expecting 65 points. You know, somewhere around 66, 65, 65 points uh, will be invited. And 190 um, probably a bit higher, but you know depends on occupation. The cap will be still there. Mm -hmm. So each occupation for the critical one, there will still caps. Yep. So the cap is also very important. Okay. If your your occupation uh, have a very limited numbers. Per month, take account for example, you're mm -hmm. still gonna see, you know, the points will stay there. And before IT, they still give 10 places, 20. You're still gonna see points go pretty low. Yeah. And uh, next question leading to where will they change the occupation is, um, it's in the guideline and also being informed to the public. That is uh, early September, uh, there will be a change or a reviewing, we call it, uh, of your occupation list. So by that time, if some occupation is currently on the list, that's your hope. That's your chance. Uh, if you get reviewed and uh, uh, data support, you should go back on the uh, critical list. That's a time. We don't know which ones for sure, uh, but uh, it's it's just a hope to you. It's in early September, there might be a chance, uh, particularly based on the current situation. That is, there's a lot of places to offer. Uh, maybe they will consider adding a few more back to the list. At the same time, there might be some very uncommon ones which already. Um, not strong demand ones mm -hmm. which already meet their target they're probably going to remove a few i think that's always a chance some very um uh uh, uh you know re occupations which those ones not strongly supported by the data might be reviewed but for those occupations accountants it's you know quantity severe civil engineers um educators um in the early child teachers something like that those occupation it's pretty safe it's pretty mm -hmm. safe yeah so any any example which or which occupation will come back to the list? I have no idea. No, they will remove from the list. Uh, Bob, I, 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 I'm not going to scare anybody, but uh, let's just wait and see. Okay. Okay. So, one concern is like um, they have a lot of places to offer in four nine one. Yeah. Um, if we we look into the previous years um, point, more than doubled. Yeah, those mm -hmm. things. They actually set. Uh, I would say they actually set a baseline for 190 for few couple of uh, invitations yep. last time. Yeah. To use up all the 400 first before yep. they go to 190. Yeah. Do you but, think? But the, but the difference is this year we got 12 months to go. Last mm -hmm. month uh, at least governments about less well, about six months of time actually um, mm -hmm. less than six months to to use all the places. This year they got a lot of time, they got 12 months to go. So the difference is it, it's, you're gonna see in the coming months, probably July 1 and August 1, you're starting to see the point differences between mm -hmm. 4 and 190. So, yeah. the, you know, people are gonna see, well, if my occupation saying it's, let's say marketing, or, yeah. um, you know, you know, 
uh, finance or something. And you see 491 is 65, 70 points, 190 is 90, 95. Um, as time goes, as the invitation round goes, people are going to go for 491 because they, they know they don't have a chance. So they got more time to adjust the uh, um, uh, the demands you know, mm -hmm. of, uh, or, or to attract the to, to attract the uh, applications into a particular stream. So, but the focus this year will be 491 for sure. You got we only have 600 places of 490, and people starting to ask, like, they, you know, because all the uh, allocation has been published. So they starting to ask, like, you know, why the state governments have this much of 190? Canberra only have 600 places. You have to understand, Canberra. I know Canberra is a capital city, but in terms of populations, uh, uh, you know, de demographics, uh, you know, concept, it's a regional area. We know we only have less than half a million population. So, mm -hmm. government wants what government wants. Uh, you know, you know, it's population growth. Yeah. One very good thing to keep population. It's one at one. It's one at one. <laughs> They get you to stay here, okay? Yeah. So that making sense. That's that just made the the, the policy of our population grow. So um, don't blame the government. They they just they just not need more people. So they they rather to take more foreign one places. And it actually in lines with the uh, 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 you know department's policy. So when AC governments are seeking for more places for foreign one, I think the department's like, okay, you know, mm -hmm. you know, go ahead. So I probably give you more next year. But for 190, it's like, you know, you, you, you could have, you know, these places. I know you're going to, you need some for 190 places for excellence uh, applicants and, you know, for, for, for attractions as well. But, you know, the majority yeah, will be yeah. 491. Unlike other state governments, it's, it's just about the government. If you look at Tasmania, it's pretty much the same. One third is about, uh, one third is about uh, 190, two thirds is about uh, 491. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, and then I think it's a it's, uh, safer way to play with the federal government as well because, if they ask more point for four nine one, yeah, the four nine one people will contribute to the state for longer time, yeah, for long much time. longer time. Yeah, so yeah. acceptance of um, the attitude and acceptance of four nine one, it's going to be a topic. Uh, mm -hmm. It's something you want to talk about. It I think about it as well. Uh, on top of that, is one thing we will do apart from this session today. Yeah. We will set up a poll. Okay, yeah, yeah. we're going to do a poll in the coming two three days. We want to hear your opinions about the current metric system and uh, you're feeling about the policy in the past whatever based on your knowledge mm -hmm. the past year one year or two um, either you are currently in Canberra or you are in the state uh, potential applicants the reason why doing this we want to collect some opinions because as we mentioned uh, currently we have the largest largest for uh, you know uh, Facebook followers in Canberra in terms of metric system uh, and metric policies over 7,000 7, people. We want to hear your opinions. So we're going to collect those information and come up with some kind of uh, feedback of summaries and we'll send to ACT governments. Uh, the reason we're doing this is just, you know, we, as, a, as, a, as, a, as somebody part of the migration uh, system yep. and somebody who, you know, acting as a bridge actually yeah, between yeah, the government yeah. and the applicants, governments want this program to be, you know. Successful? Successful. They want to yeah. attract a lot of people. A lot of people come, they get a lot of talents. Uh, they attract a lot of investments. That's their targets. They, I think they have an idea how this program, how important this program, contribute to the local economy and population growth. And they need people, you know, to to publish those news and get the uh, potential applicants to come to Canberra. So we are the bridge, and you guys come to us for the service, for the correct interpret interpretations of the policy, looking for the advice. So we want to hear your voice. We'll come with summary, providing as a feedback to the ACD government. And yeah. uh, in terms, for example, if you have questions about, um, or if you have concern about the frequency of occupation lists, which now get changed four months. Uh, personally, I think it's too frequent, but I want to hear your voice. Yeah. And uh, other concerns as well, this system now is it's good. If I be able to, to, to give a point to the uh, ACT metric system now, I would say it's definitely 80 points or something. But there are places to be improved in long term. Uh, uh, you know, to be to be towarding the directions actually uh, benefits the governments more and benefit the applicants more. It should be a very healthy, very interactive program. We see that that's what happens in Canberra, mm -hmm. um, and we want to, you know you know keep on working toward that direction. Okay, so basically that's everything for today. Yep, and um, thank you for your time, Victor. And yeah, the major thing we have to mention uh, you know, today is like this. Uh, policy will remain constant for yeah, this year. This year, I don't see major change. Um, and uh, yep. expecting the occupations uh, list 
um, 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 uh, early early September. Yeah. And uh, there was not not a lot of changes actually this time, except mm -hmm. the, a small business owner, and uh, it's all about the invitation. So uh, starting to plan your migration um, pathways. If you are you know comparing, you can wait for a few rounds because now the invitation is still going to be uh, around weekly. Uh, basis so every week you can see metrics 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 mm -hmm. um, then the points will come up and compare okay. your points to the metrics invitation points and uh, you should plan your migration plan uh, if you are not in Canberra or in Canberra now mm -hmm. and in terms of the consultations um, still I think government is going to lead, lead, release the mass wedding requirement this Friday mm -hmm. but we'll see what's going on uh, over the weekend uh, we're starting to take face-to-face -face consultation starting uh, Monday next week yeah. uh, if the requirement be released happy to book a consultation to, with, yep. with us um, either you have questions about those quali qualification change or you have a small business yep. we have yeah finally a small business it could be a pathway to migration for you if your occupation is not in yep. ACT critical list so if you are running a small business or uh, a qualified small, small yeah, business or, pl or plan to yeah. run a small business yeah. 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 and um, it should be ready probably within six months if you mm. start now as well uh, eight months, about eight months, yeah, about yeah, eight months. Okay. About eight months. So yeah, and finally, as Victor already said, we will set up a pool in f our Facebook uh, platforms. We will try to collect the all genuine reflection from the ground, yep. like from the applicant, and we will try to submit to the ICD government as a summary. Yep. Just as a feedback. Just a feedback. Yeah, yeah. that doesn't mean we can influence. No, them. we can't. <laughs> yeah. And don't don't raise yeah. up a lot of ridiculous yeah. requirements. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, we, yeah, we will set up a question, uh, poll questions and those sort of things and we'll come back to you. Thank you for staying with us for this half an hour and we'll see you again, maybe in a couple of weeks. Yep. See you, take care, bye-bye. Bye-bye.